Hey, what's up, Tamers? It's Dev from Dutchtopia here, and I am with Gabe that came in first place in R.A.W.'s uh, store championship that was hosted this past weekend. Wait. Week and a half ago. Week and a half ago. Yep, yep. First first few store championships of the, uh, of the format and everything. But he came in first place with security control. Security control is not dead, and here's Gabe with his own list and everything to tell you. All right. Yeah. Security control is not dead. Uh, it's probably my favorite uh, deck to play ever since, you know, BT3 came out and people were playing just like random security mons, just, just having a good time. I mean, it's definitely evolved a lot since then, and it always evolves depending on uh, what, what, cards yeah, what, what decks are in the meta. And uh, you'll definitely see in this list that there were some decisions that I made that were specifically because of why, what I expected it was going to be at the event. Uh, I'd say, as always, but not really, uh, Upamon, I just think it's just the best. Uh, most of the time, you're just going to be hitting with Salamons, so just getting that extra draw is uh, pretty pretty necessary. Some people are playing uh, Viximons, but uh, I, I don't really bother doing that. I think, I think Upamon is just fine. You're only bringing out of raising if you're going for game, or you have the three or fewer security anyways, so r really anything else is, uh, I wouldn't say unnecessary, but uh, this is pretty standard. Uh, for our rookies, we're just playing the four Sala. Uh, I've played the one, uh, the promo Patamon before. It comes and goes just as a one of, but I think for most of the time Salamon's just fine. Uh, in the event, I mean, drawing drawing Salomon is really, really important. If you, uh, you know, don't find it and get that redraw, it kind of messes you up a little bit. And not having that guaranteed extra recovery uh, kind of worries me at points. But once you see it, you're happy if you don't have to use it. And if you do have to use it, it's just great. Uh, I think in, in this format, because of all the tamers rolling around, uh, it not being deleted is kind of a, a big deal. Uh, sometimes you just have to get lucky, but uh, I guess I've been learning to expect that it doesn't happen and be happy when it does. Uh, for your fives, we got the standard four Magna Angemons. Uh, you, you love to see it in the trash, you hate to see it in the hand, and uh, once you get one in rotation, it's, it's, the ball's kind of rolling. Sometimes I feel like Magna is the boss monster of security control. It is. Uh, it's just low enough that uh, you kind of want it to die to get it back with like Flame Hell Scythe, and it's just big enough that it survives, and sometimes if you get two hits off of it, you're probably going to be winning the game. Usually a lot of the time with security control, people think that you're just trying to deck them out, but a lot of time you're just trying to, you're trying to race them out in a, in a different kind of way than some of these uh, security attack plus one OTK decks are rolling. Uh, and then, as far as other fives are, are concerned, I'm playing the one Anja Woman. Uh, I've, been, I've been liking it a lot. Sometimes when your opponent has a big stack going and uh, they get like three checks and uh, don't hit uh, any removal spells, it's pretty difficult for me to bounce back. But uh, having, having something that I can hard play from my hand that kind of gives me that extra turn is uh, pretty important. Uh, and then, similarly, Having that Anjo Woman's uh, inheritable effect when paired with something like uh, Juno Man, uh, it's pretty interesting because it lets you shore up a lot of games that you'd uh, otherwise be kind of kind of short on. Uh, so like Juno Man, obviously I'm playing the Loop, and then there's a Calling from the Darkness somewhere in here. It's pretty standard. You should be running at least one and one. Some people are playing two Avenged Kidmons. I don't think it's necessary, and I think the format's a little fast at this point to, tr to try and uh, play for that super, super late game. Uh, I guess if you're playing the Mirror Match, maybe you'd want a, an extra Avenged Kidmon, but I haven't uh, been having that matchup really recently. No, I think I the, the deck has kind of uh, fallen off favor a little bit. I feel that. Uh, for sixes, we're looking at one Sakuya, one Venus, and one Promo Seraphi. Uh, some people are playing uh, Ophanimon over this, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, whether or not you have a Tamer in play or some of these other things, the trigger doesn't matter. You're still getting recovery for uh, four memory, and usually it's off of a Magna. Seems pretty good. Uh, I tried the Venusmon over the second Sakuya. I think it's fine. I'll try to figure out a way to fit in that second Sakuyamon backup because it's just so good with all these people uh, protecting their stuff in, in, in the breeding uh, zone. 
like having having a sequoia up board it makes it so much easier to not die to these otk decks uh, and then to round things off the two death x mon the classic the boogeyman i mean it just wins and with all of these uh shout mon decks running around maybe not so much uh after after the new ban list got yeah, yeah yeah uh but still it's pretty insane uh I'd say what uh, gives security control the most uh, bang for its buck is the is the tamer options. It's pretty known for having more tamers than a lot of other uh, decks are concerned before uh, BT10 came out. Uh, the classic BT3 Mimi. This card is insane. You always want it in your opener, and it it makes other decks. Fold. I mean, you leave them with one memory, and then they try to do, like, delicate plan stuff. Well, now they can't. Uh, they're playing uh, memory boost that they think they're, they're going to get some good value on. Well, actually, it costs them four memory, and I'm in control. Uh, Mimi, as well as these guys, the purple Kari, just makes it impossible for your opponent to be able to play their turns as normal, and, and it just pushes stuff back in a way that I, I think it's necessary for the format. Uh, and obviously, seven purple tamers is kind of important because you're playing some purple options. It's kind of a big deal. Uh, and then Kari, yellow Kari, when purple Kari or Mimi push you back over, now you're setting from one to three memory, and you're, you're golden. Uh, Kari gaining you memory when you're, uh, when you're recovering means that when you play Magna Angemon for seven, you're only setting them at three instead of four, and I think that's insane. Uh, the biggest uh, difference that I had with my list was I did a blue splash. I've been seeing some other splashes, but I think blue is fine in this format. Uh, specifically for Tommy, getting rid of uh, these Shoutmon stacks, if you hit it in security, uh, it makes it so that their combos are disruptive. If you're, if you're hitting it against these Black War Greymon lines, getting rid of their extra security attacks, their DP uh, increases, it's kind of important. And then the one Kiyoshiro, actually in the event I was playing a blue TK because I couldn't find one of these at the time, uh, this card's just insane because you're just attacking with Magna Angemon. And because the, the deck doesn't really have a lot of drawing power, you're often, almost always, going to have seven or less cards in hand. Card's insane. Uh, all right, going to the options, I think this is the, the biggest the difference biggest from, from what a lot of security control players have is which options are they playing. We have the classic, the four Chaos Degrade. Uh, this is the best removal spell in the game, probably. And, you know, whether or not you hard cast it or play it off security, if they have an extra card in their stack, it really doesn't change anything. You know what you're hitting into. And for stuff like Salomon, guaranteeing that you're going to blow up the Salomon itself to get that recovery is a pretty good thing to have. Uh, obviously, Holy Wave, not much to talk about. It just replaces itself. Four Wyvern's Breath. This card is insane in this format. Destruction effects, or deletion effects, uh, aren't that good, so I'm taking out Fly Bullet, having Wyvern's Breath just necessary, along with the four Flame Hell Scythe. Uh, it pops a dude, it brings back the Magna, it recovers you. This card is uncuttable, obviously you know that. Uh, and then, the last to round things off, it's the flex splats. Uh, you see that you saw that I was uh, splashing blue. So here's two Kakaitis breath. Again, not a deletion effect. So it's been it's been working very well for me. Bounce a Shoutmon. The materials go to the trash and not under the tamers. Let's go. Uh, then, last but not least, we have the reinforcing memory boost. Obviously, if you could play more, you would. Uh, we're playing a one of Blade of the True. I think this card is not that good, but you like to see the one just because drawing two is kind of a big deal in this deck, but you never want to see it in security because you'd much rather just have a removal spell. Uh, and then rounding off for the last three cards, we have a single Holy Flame. Uh, it's a nice one of. I don't see a lot of going wide deck, so hitting it in, in security isn't the most necessary thing in the world. But having it as just as a as an on play, stop your thing from being able to hit me again, it kind of acts like an option version of Sequoia. And at two memory, it's it's pretty affordable. Uh, we have the one calling for the darkness. I mentioned that before. Getting back your Death Xs, getting back your Junomon seems pretty good. Uh, if your Salomon doesn't end up getting deleted in, in their security, 
uh, you can always delete it with calling from the darkness to guarantee that you're getting that recovery uh, when it was uh, unforeseen circumstances. And the last card is going to be a Schwarzler Sots. Uh, I've seen a few people playing this. Specifically, there was a regional top where someone splashed black and played like two or three copies of this. I think it's fine. Uh, there's like fewer and fewer matchups where it's good against, but I like having the option just in case. Right. Uh, as far as the tournament went down, uh, four rounds. First one was Minerva. I think they have less than a 30% chance of beating you. They can only have they can only put so many rushers in play before they run out of gas. And if you have just like six or seven stack high, there's not much that they can do about it. Uh, then I played two Black War Gray. Uh, it's kind of uh, built to to beat Shoutmon and to build these tamer focused decks. Uh, part of it is me playing against the deck a lot and knowing how they fold, and part of it is just getting lucky. And I'm I'm not you know. I'm not too big of a man to admit when I when I run hot. Uh, and then the finals, played against Shoutmon, played against Dev over here. We had a pretty close three games. Uh, I thought it was good. No, yeah, no. And, like, again, it was one of those things, too, where it's just, like, everybody had to be so careful because no one was... Everybody was expecting Shoutmon yeah. everywhere. But mm -hmm. in reality, everybody was, like, planning for the boogeyman, but... I kind of, I think it was almost almost me and then one other person. I think there were two Shoutmon players and yeah. like three or four Black War Grays. And then like yeah. a, a, a handful of Jessmon, right? Yeah. So they yeah. were, it was like, uh, it was the equivalent of like, you can beat Shoutmon, but can you beat security control? Yeah. And that was the question. Yeah. And if there was no. Right. You can beat Shoutmon, but if you can't beat the decks that are beating Shoutmon, then what are you what, really what are you doing? Yeah, for, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. But no, yeah, thanks again, Gabe and everything, for just uh, being on the channel and everything. And congratulations again for securing your invite to Nats. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's good to be here. Uh, I'll be playing security control until the end of time, until they it. say ban <laughs> Flame Hellsife, ban Magnet Anjuman. They're, you know, they're, they're getting close. They only limited, you know, calling. That's it. That's You're only what? playing one <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, Purple didn't care. All right. Thank you very much for having me. No problem. Peace out, guys. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe. It helps a lot. All right. Bye.